Hello everyone, welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will determine the end term of geometric sequence. Let us begin by deriving the formula in finding the end term of geometric sequence. Let us use this example of geometric sequence. We have 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, and so on. The common ratio of this sequence is equal to 2. And we can write each term of this sequence in factored form. 3 is equal to 3. 6 is equal to 3 times 2. 12 is equal to 3 times 2 times 2. 24 is equal to 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 48 is equal to 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Where 3 is the first term and 2 is the common ratio. If we write these terms in exponential form, a sub 5 is equal to 3 times 2 raised to 4. A sub 4 is equal to 3 times 2 cubed. A sub 3 is equal to 3 times 2 squared. A sub 2 is equal to 3 times 2 raised to 1. And A sub 1 is equal to 3 times 2 raised to 0. Let us write A sub 6 in exponential form. What is A sub 6 in exponential form? A sub 6 is equal to 3 times 2 raised to 5. What if we are asked to solve for A sub n? What is A sub n in exponential form? Let us consider this equation as our guide to determine A sub n. In this equation, 6 is the number of terms. We can write that as A sub n. Equals 3 is the first term or a sub 1. 2 is the common ratio, or r. And 5 is 1 less than the number of terms. We can write this as 6 minus 1, and 6 minus 1 is n minus 1. And this is the formula in finding the n term of geometric sequence. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And we can write this as a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. In this formula, a sub n is the nth term of geometric sequence. a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, n is the number of terms. Now that we know the formula, let us have examples. Example number 1. What is the 10th term of the geometric sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on? Let us use the formula in finding the 10th term. First, let us determine all the given values. a sub 10 is the missing term. 1 is the first term. n is equal to 10. And the common ratio is equal to 2. Let us use the formula and let us substitute all the given values a sub n becomes a sub 10. a sub 1 is equal to 1. r is equal to 2. n minus 1 is 10 minus 1. Let us simplify. We have a sub 10 is equal to 1 times 2. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. 2 raised to 9 means we will multiply 2 to itself 9 times. And we have a sub 10 is equal to 1 times 512. 1 times 512 is equal to 512. 512 is the 10th term of the geometric sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on. Example number 2. Let us find the 9th term of the geometric sequence negative 80, 40, negative 20, 10, and so on. We have a sub 9 as the missing term. Negative 80 is the first term, n is equal to 9, and to find the common ratio, we will divide any term by its preceding term. r is equal to 40 divided by negative 80, the answer is negative 1 half. Let us use the formula, and let us substitute all the given values. For a sub n, we have a sub 9, equals a sub 1 is negative 80, r is negative 1 half, n minus 1 is 9 minus 1. 
let us simplify. For 9 minus 1, that is equal to 8. And we have a sub 9 is equal to negative 80. Negative 1 half raised to 8 is equal to positive 1 over 256. Negative 80 times 1 over 256 is equal to negative 80 over 256. In lowest term, this is negative 5 over 16. And this is the ninth term of the geometric sequence negative 80, 40, negative 20, 10, and so on. Last example, example number 3. If the second term of a geometric sequence is 4 and the fifth term is 108, find the common ratio and the seventh term. The given values, we have a sub 2 is equal to 4, a sub 5 is equal to 108, and let us find the common ratio and the seventh term. Let us first solve for the common ratio. Let us use the formula. And for a sub n, we will be using a sub 5. Instead of a sub 1, we will be using a sub 2. And we have r raised to 5 minus 2. Since this is the value of n, and we use a sub 2. Let us substitute all the given values. For a sub 5, we have 108. a sub 2 is equal to 4. And we have r. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. We need to isolate r cube to one side of the equation by dividing both sides by 4. 108 divided by 4 is equal to 27. 4 r cube divided by 4 is equal to r cube. And to solve for r, we need to extract the root of both sides of this equation. Cube root of 27 is equal to cube root of r cube. The index must be equal to the exponent to solve for r. Cube root of r cube is equal to r. And cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Therefore, the common ratio is equal to 3. After solving for the common ratio, let us solve for the seventh term. In our formula, a sub n becomes a sub 7 since the value of n is equal to 7. Instead of a sub 1, we can use a sub 2 or a sub 5. In this case, let us use a sub 2. We have r raised to 7 minus 2. If we use a sub 5, the exponent becomes 7 minus 5. Let us substitute all the given values. a sub 7 is equal to 4 which is a sub 2, times 3, which is the common ratio, raised to 5. And let us simplify. a sub 7 is equal to 4, 3 raised to 5 is equal to 243. 4 times 243 is equal to 972. And this is the seventh term of the geometric sequence, having second term as 4 and fifth term as 108. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.